<laughs> yeah, it might be because they're full of it. That's why I used to hate them. And that's why they hated me too. When I was in uh, India 18 years ago or something, I came back to the, to the U.S. I'm putting my book together, by the way. Autobiography of a Human. Yeah, it's a good one. And then uh, I came back and I was like Mr. Spiritual. See, I didn't, I didn't know I was playing the act of spiritual. I thought like I was like, I was just spiritual. Man. And I was sitting in a 12 step meeting at the time. Cause I got clean here like when I was 15. So I like to see my friends, you know, and I've been gone for a while, <clears throat> but I was sitting there in the chair in the meeting and uh, the people were uh, sharing and stuff. And there was a brother sitting next to me, you know, real raw dude. Yeah, he didn't have much time clean or nothing, but it didn't matter. He could read energy. And uh, I think I had just shared or something, you know. And then, oh, yeah, as I was sharing, I, could, I caught him in my peripheral. He's like, he's like, you see, he's making fun of me, doing what I do, actually, <clears throat> to people. And um, it, you know why it didn't bother me? Not because I was spiritual. It's because my mind <laughs> found a way to even rationalize that. My mind was like, oh, poor brother, man. He's like, he's not spiritual enough to like recognize like I'm spiritual. So like his ego's mad. Yeah. So this is, this is, <laughs> this is really honestly, there's two reasons. This is the core reason though. I'm going to share the other reason why a lot of spiritual people are hated after I share this one, because this is, I feel, is the real reason. And it's, uh, it's more fun to talk about this reason, because I don't hear it too much. I hear it from the people who, like, aren't spiritual. All right, let's let a spiritual person talk about it. Did I say I'm spiritual? Maybe indirectly. Uh, that's another thing. I was telling my friend the other day, she was, she was talking about, like... Uh, using the word spiritual path and stuff. I'm like, man, I don't even feel that this is some spiritual path. It's just kind of all becomes common sense after a while. You don't feel like you're on a spiritual path. You're just like your life, like you're here and you're like doing what you're supposed to do. Intuition's running this whole game in the life force and God. If you want to label it spiritual path, that's cool. But I think a big <clears throat> the biggest thing why you take some, this is why criminals and, and people in the mental institutions, this is why they get mad. It's why they hate the nurses. I had a friend, <clears throat> she's in New York. She works in the psych ward. I asked her, I said, Did any, are the mental patients still trying to stab the nurses? Because there's been a couple, they just go crazy, man, you know? And uh, one big reason is because they can feel they can feel these people are sensitive. It doesn't matter if they like broke the law. It doesn't mean they're stupid. Actually, more uh, they're more in tune with energetic laws than the so-called professional people, generally speaking. That's why they're in jail. They don't fit. Like this is this, what am I doing in this stupid world? Okay, I gotta I gotta survive because like I can't climb the corporate ladder. Like, are you serious? <clears throat> I wouldn't want to if I could. So then they resort to doing doing some things that. The, the policeman doesn't like and then they end up in jail but those people man they can read you they know they know if you're one with your words they can they can sense that little passive aggressiveness aggressiveness in a second like oh i see okay i'm gonna pray for you all this stuff love 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 i said before i'd rather hang out with a bank robber who just admits it's like this is what i do like god obviously like wants me to play this role so this is what i do uh, i'd talk to him any day over the spiritual foo-foos you know? and as somebody who's truly spiritual spiritual means balanced it means like you have experience it means you can relate with other people it means that you like you've done enough introspection in your life you can catch yourself out when you're like dismissing and character assassinating somebody in your in your mind thinking you're better than them usually that stuff is goes hidden in somebody most people are just robots they're just responding yeah they don't they don't know how to do the deep introspection <clears throat> so then uh, these 
a lot of beings can feel that. They can feel that. And they just like, God, I don't want this the last person I want to see is a spiritual person. <laughs> and uh, uh, like I was alluding to, a spiritual person means, yeah, there's some, you can understand the other person somehow, energetically something. So the words that you choose to use, don't really choose to use them, they start flowing. They match, and this other person can see that. You're not just talking fluffy fluff. You're not just stating spiritual cliches. You're actually putting yourself inside that person. And then, then you respond from that level. And then they feel it. They're like, ah, oh, he's, I've been in, uh, I think it happened most when, I, like when I would go speak at uh, prisons or something. I'd usually go, it'd be, I'd be the only white guy. It'd be me and like a few brothers. Automatically, automatically, the inmates aren't going to be like, they already have this uh, mental idea and concept about like who this white guy is, right? They trust the brothers, understandably. I mean, like, of course, I would too. When you, <laughs> you use common sense, when 90% of a situation is likely to be like this, then you get to like rely on statistics just out of common sense. You're like, okay, he's probably gonna be like that too. <clears throat> but then when I started sharing, I saw it, they changed. They changed because they can read energy. And I wasn't, I wasn't talking down to them, nor was I just pontificating. <laughs> no, I was like, I know where they were. I understand why they do what they do and did. Like, I, I know, I know how it works. I know how the mechanism works. I know how it feels to be, uh, feel like you're alone in the world, but at the same time, you got to survive. But like, how? Because you don't fit into these stupid uh, groups. And I can't imagine <laughs> back in the day when I'd get a job somewhere, like <clears throat> as a teenager or something, I'd just fill out the application. Well, first I'd go to the job. I'd say, are you hiring? They'd say yes or no. They said, no, I wouldn't I'd just, I'd leave. They said yes. I said, okay, cool. You have an application. I get the application. I'd fill it out. Then I'd ask for the manager. I don't want to talk to the, you know, I need the manager. He's the only one that can hire you. So then they get the manager. I said, yeah, look, I'm looking for a job, man, and whatever. I was good at getting a job, but I couldn't keep one because I didn't like them. So then I'd get to give the manager the resume, the, not the resume, the application, and then we're good. I usually get hired. <clears throat> Nowadays, I don't even know how it works. I couldn't imagine. I just don't know how to do it. Like, the processes now and the resumes and, like, you're just another number and it's all about uh, what you write on the resume. <laughs> you know, you got to doctor that up. and, and So, <clears throat> there's some people, they can't do that. So, they're like, man, it's easier just to rob a bank. So, I understand that, like, totally. Oh, we're talking about, uh, damn it, I don't have my list. I don't, what's the title? Since I don't have my list, I'll have to remember the title now. Ah, see? Why do the, a lot of people hate spiritual people? That's why. <clears throat> that's why, because it's like the person that's the boss. Well, look, 85% of the people, period. They don't understand this level of of just authenticity, period. And they can't help it. So there's no need to like kill them. It's not like they're, it's not like they're like, they know it, but like they're just not doing it to screw you over. No, they don't know it. Remember the analogy I like? It's like making the dog, trying to ma get mad at the dog because he doesn't say hello. It's so easy for you to say hello. Why don't the dog say it? Yeah, they can't say it. It's the same thing. So, and I'm talking to those 15%. <clears throat> I don't want the 85%. Oh, but you can make millions. Oh, please. Not interested. I'm interested in the 15%. I'm going to be doing groups in the future. And we're going to have a... I'm going to hand pick them. Maybe people can send a video in or something. I have... My partner's going to help me with that. She's really good. She, she's really good. Reading vibration and energy. And she helps me with the comments. And <clears throat> Yeah, I trust her. So if your comment gets deleted, I didn't do it. <laughs> Just act right and it won't. All these little smart ass comment, you know. No, like she'll get rid of you. 
So, lost again. Man, there's no time to get lost now. It's over 100 degrees. Oh well. So, <clears throat> these 15% of people, they suffer in this world. And, uh, man, they don't like they don't like that spiritual counterfeit mentality. So this is the main, the main reason why I think some people don't like spiritual people. Now the other reason, okay, I'm gonna touch on and give balance. The other reason is because you're mirroring, you're mirroring back to them, to the unspiritual person. You're mirroring their spiritual, their, their dormant spirituality. You're mirroring it back to them. You see, you might have a certain confidence and stability and contentment, and they're mad because they don't have it and they want it. All right, so yeah, that also can happen. But if they start, if they start messing with you or ridiculing you, doing some kind of indirect. You can, you, you know all this, you know, like, okay, they're trying to like piss me off. <laughs> they try to do it on the channel. <clears throat> Some, not many, like with their comments, like they get, they get stirred up sometimes when I talk. I'm like, yeah, I understand that. I can't fall for that though. You start to read that, you know why they're doing what they're doing. So you don't get upset. I mean, you might, cause you have an emotional body. Nothing wrong if you get up, uh, you know, you feel something inside, and you know, not, it's not that you're not spiritual, actually more spiritual. <laughs> you're not a robot. You feel, feel things, but, but you don't, you don't dismiss them. This is the thing. This is the thing. I think I found the main thing. This subconscious and conscious dismissal that spiritual people do. Uh, they're not spiritual, but they're imagining they're spiritual. This is what really pisses people off. You see? <clears throat> so if you're, you can sense that they're like, they're getting kind of shaken up by your presence or your words or your energy or whatever. It's number one, you recognize it. Number two, because you're in touch enough now with intuition because of like evolution and you've been doing this a while. You know how to navigate that. You know how to talk to them. You don't do it in a dismissive way. So those are the two reasons people get pissed off at spiritual people. See you.